My name is Aaron Crosby Lyles, and this is News from the Can. Super persistent weather patterns like the Pacific Blob anomaly that lasted from late 2013 into 2016 are purportedly an effect of global greenhouse warming. The blob was a large patch of warm seawater in the Pacific Ocean related to a ridiculously resilient ridge of high pressure around the Pacific Northwest in 2014 that resulted in an extreme drought in California. If passed as prologue, this event tells us what to expect in the future. Larger temperature differentials between land and sea can produce super persistent ridges of high and low pressure that may drive conveyor belts of precipitation for extended periods of time. This may be the mechanism responsible for depositing glacial amounts of snow if an ice age should reemerge. It is important to stress at this point that responsible scientists and policymakers never make definitive declarations about what may happen next, which can be aggravating to people who like to have the illusion of security and preparedness. Definitive active voice language is also sexier and more interesting. In this glut of multimedia content we are constantly immersed in, if someone wants to be heard, they should probably try to sound as urgent as possible. Crisis. The most overused word of recent history has bludgeoned the eyeballs and eardrums of breathless generations for no other purpose than to generate higher ratings and better circulation. No product will ever sell without a hook, some reason to stop what we are doing and pay attention. As Will Happer says in this Prager University video, no one knows for sure exactly what is going to happen next. Note, however, that in this finely produced piece of virtue signaling, the word exactly allows for a fine print escape clause. Without wading into a fruitless argument over the effects of carbon emissions, here's what we do know. Greenhouse warming, probably from CO2, is an actual thing evidenced by the rise in tropospheric temperatures coupled with the fall in stratospheric temperatures recorded by most reputable sources. Explosive cyclogenesis caused by stratospheric intrusion and folding of the tropopause is a real, actual thing that is probably caused by the aforementioned greenhouse temperature imbalance. This imbalance, coupled with the rise in heat captured by the oceans over the last 20 years or so, may have set the stage for super persistent weather events to become more common. These events are capable of delivering larger than normal quantities of frozen precipitation. Now that we've dotted our I's and T's of fairness and balance and veered the happy cart of doom off the fairway of hyperbole, we can show what seems to be a rather persistent area of low geopotential height over Baffin Island. Certainly, things like blocking highs are as common as dirt during certain times of the year. However, we are pointing this feature out because it has been fairly persistent, and it clearly shows its effect on the jet stream and transport of water vapor and precipitation. It appears as though anomalously high sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico and off the eastern seaboard are feeding a conveyor belt of moisture that leads all the way up to Siberia, powered by this area of low potential height. This may not be the big one, but it may offer a clue as to what to look for in the future. And if this is any indication of what to expect, people living in Siberia may want to stock some extra Zelyonaya marka just in case. Though we used the term Green Apple Express in a previous video for a slightly different concept, it seems to fit here a little better. For that reason, the title of the previous video will be changed to avoid confusion. And that's about it for now. My name is R. Crosby Lyles, and this has been News from the Can. Thanks for watching.